Hello everybody, this is Fernando for the latest Cryptids and Monsters video. Alright, another entry here based on your suggestions. This one again following the theme of those crazy and fantastic lumberjack cryptids. Uh, this one I have actually seen who knows how long back. It was in one of my earliest instances when I was first starting my Cryptids and Monsters channel. And I was going to talk about it then, but then I guess just through the coming days and eventually weeks and months I just forgot about it and so this go around uh, with regards to these lumberjack cryptids it was great to see this particular suggestion because it reminded me again that I really wanted to talk about it and it has to do with a very unique cryptid only because of its characteristic its action the way it moves otherwise it's a regular animal just like you and I see every day here in this world and it has to do with the cryptid known as the hoop snake which you're looking at a picture of here this is a cryptid that lives apparently around parts of Wisconsin parts of Minnesota and then if you go further north parts of Canada and that weird characteristic that I was talking about has to do with its namesake apparently it's a normal snake just like you and I would see every day out there in nature uh, just like any other snake nothing different with regards to its body nothing different with regards to its skin its size just a regular snake but its characteristic is this apparently it has the ability to bite the back of its tail hold on to it and I don't know how it um, essentially makes itself vertical but when it does so it creates a wheel like it turns itself into an actual wheel and then it uses that wheel motion to move forward so that's why it's called a hoop snake it turns itself into a hoop and then basically using just those uh, centrifugal forces it moves forward just like you would see let's say a hula hoop if you were to place it vertically and roll it down a hill very same concept here and then the reason it does this is because it's a much quicker way for it to move forward as opposed to the traditional ways that snakes move in that s-like fashion that we all are familiar with um, with regards to its instances as far as let's say encounters it goes back a little back when again during the lumberjack period around the 1700s maybe even into the 1800s but there's an actual letter that was stated in an article it's called tour in the USA volume 1 and it was a letter that was given describing an encounter with one of these hoop snakes and so I'm gonna say it in its entirety and then that way it'll give you a very good idea of what they are and what they do so again this was a letter published in 1784 so again a good number of years back it published in that volume called tour in the USA there in London and it says as other serpents crawl upon their bellies so can this but he has another method of moving peculiar to his own species which he always adopts when he is in eager pursuit of his prey he throws himself into a circle running rapidly around advancing like a hoop with his tail arising and pointing forward in the circle by which he is always in the ready position of striking it is observed that they only make use of this method in attacking for when they flee from their enemy they go upon their bellies like other serpents from the above circumstance peculiar to themselves they have also derived the appellation of hoop snakes so this very instance published in 1784 perfectly describes everything associated with this cryptid and even kind of gives its namesake as hoop snake by the way that's another peculiarity about this creature this attack that it does with regards to it turning into a hoop that's the only time it does it whenever it's actually attacking something else but when it's fleeing like let's say um, it's going away somewhere or if it's just naturally moving about its environment it moves just like any other snake would in that s fashion and it also gives an idea of maybe how it comes up and let's say in a vertical fashion because this is a snake um, whenever it's let's say biting its tail on the ground naturally it's lying flat so it seems like it starts wobbling around and it starts trying to pick up let's say more speed and more force eventually to the point where if it wobbles fast enough it can uh, make itself vertical and that way its hoop now becomes a truly moving wheel um, with regards to the instances of this 
cryptid. Um, I haven't really seen any other ones. I tried seeing if there were other known sightings. Nothing really. Um, people still claim that they are around. Although it was to the point that there was this naturalist, a guy by the name of Raymond Dittmars, who you're looking at a picture of here. Uh, he was apparently a famous uh, person uh, who studied a lot of nature. He was an illustrator. He was a writer. He took a lot of footage of animals. Um, he was a curator. So he was somebody that was very much so involved in natural history. And with him, he heard about this hoop snake, but he was the kind of guy that said, for all these sightings, where's the evidence? And it got to the point that he actually created a $10,000 bet if you will or a trust which is kind of like a third party agreement or a third party account and he put it into a New York bank and said this ten thousand dollars which at that time I, I used an inflation calculator um, considering his date of birth was 1876 and then his date of death was 1942 just as a roundabout way I use 1930 as the calculator example that amount 10,000 would be well over a hundred thousand today so this was a serious deal I mean he was taking his money and placing it into a trust as a bet knowing for certain that no one will find evidence but he said if anyone does and they can provide the first proven evidence of a hoop snake then that money is theirs well over a hundred thousand dollars would have been theirs and it is assumed I was trying to see if there was evidence of this actually being paid but no it wasn't because alas again there is no proof or nobody has found the definitive proof to showcase an existence of the hoop snake now as to what maybe some misconceptions could be uh, maybe people do see something involving a snake in the shape of a hoop and what those misconceptions could be it could actually be just your average snake lying down um, and then just asleep or just resting but the way it's doing so the way its mouth is almost close to its tail people are assuming that it is doing so in the fashion of a hoop and it just could be by pure 100 percent accident the, the snake is just lying there its mouth is right near its tail or maybe even in its tail but it's not actually eating it. it's not creating a hoop but just because it happens to be in that position and people see it that's one incidence the other one is this and I think this is more likely it as well there are instances apparently of snakes actually trying to swallow their own tail and you're looking at a picture of it here because they believe just by pure dumb accident that their tail is the tail of an enemy it's that thing that we see all the time with dogs where when they see their own tail they start chasing it they're thinking it's something else maybe it's a part of another animal or it's something else altogether and so they're trying to catch it not realizing how stupid of course that that is their own tail same thing with these snakes it could be that these tails of these uh, snakes um, they're thinking it's something else and so these encounters that people have had where they see a hoop snake and they see a snake biting onto its tail and it makes it look like a hoop snake it could be none other than just a stupid snake not realizing it's its own tail and trying to eat that tail thinking it's the tail of an enemy so crazy stuff if it is that case and I'm thinking that's what it is more likely in most instances then that is how the snoop hoop snake are derived but then again with regards to these uh, creatures especially these lumberjack tails there has to be a predominance of encounters that are valid in order for this, uh, this these encounters to take on a life of its own so there's always that chance that yes there truly is a snake that moves in this fashion that that runs around in the shape of a hula hoop and then when it's ready to strike it uncurls itself and then strikes right at its opponent fascinating stuff so what do you guys think the hoop snake again another lumberjack cryptid in my series here now if anyone has any more information that I might not have covered um, please post those comments below It'd be great to hear if anyone has any more close encounters like some of the more recent ones maybe even into the 1900s or the 2000s that would be great to hear too so alright everybody thanks again as always take care